Eco Park in Los Angeles looks more like a campsite these days than a residential neighborhood. There are portable toilets, pop-up showers, soup kitchens, and even a small library. It's a homeless kitchen, like, for all the people that are doing bad, that they don't got food, they don't got water. Well, that's, that's what we're here for, like, we get it's it. It's free? Yeah, they are, it's all free, like, because we've been seeing a lot of more people out in the streets to eat, you know? We're just charging people's phones or whatever needs to be charged, because, um, you know, since the coronavirus, there's a lack of uh, places open to charge phones. Volunteers say the number of homeless people in Los Angeles has gone up significantly since the coronavirus pandemic struck. Uh, you want to? Uh, got a lot of anxiety and depression problems, and that's what, that's really why I'm here, is because uh, I can't make it work. I, I try to make it work, man, and I haven't figured out how to do it yet. To help people like Corti, local authorities plan to build a temporary shelter in LA's Expo Center for thousands of people. But some nonprofits are coming with other ideas to provide shelter, including converting shipping containers to create low cost permanent housing. It's constructed out of converted shipping containers, and this project consists of eight four bedroom units, five of which are occupied by families, three of which are occupied by shared individuals, so four people to each with a bedroom. This experimental project cost about $4 million. Some 30 people are living there now. Construction workers say shipping containers are extremely easy to work with. And the process of planning, designing, and getting all the necessary paperwork is a lot easier, faster, and cheaper than building regular houses. In our current um, rate, uh, it costs about $550,000 a unit and takes about three to five years to build a project. So we were very committed to find a way to build faster and cheaper, not in terms of quality. Living here costs the homeless about 30% of their welfare checks. The rest is covered by the government. Social workers help the occupants get settled. We have laundry on site here. This can be used for a meeting room. We have a small non-perishable food pantry that's available for the residents, um, as well as the resident services staff who's on site is based here as well. At the moment, several of these houses are being built in Los Angeles, and plans are for 500 homeless people to move into them. A drop in the bucket, given the tens of thousands of homeless, but a step in the right direction. For Angelina Bagdasarian in Los Angeles, Anna Rice, VOE News.